It's one of Ike's shot, DJ UTV. Damn. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. We got Mona Ike in the building, man. Mona Ike, what we on, gang? Chillin' right now, man. Where we at, man? We on the block. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so what's your name? Mona Ike or Ike Mona? I was getting confused. Mm. Nah, put, it's Mona Ike. I just say Ike Mona. I, be, I just switched around. Like. Right. Yeah. So where you get, where you get your name from? Mm, the guys. J Money, folks that passed away. Right. Everybody started saying Mona after he died. Yeah, I be seeing, I be seeing a lot of guys from over here that they, they they either got Mona in it or or Roy in it. Yeah. That's like a uh, that's like a Parkway tradition at this point. Yeah. Type shit. So tell us uh about about your upbringing here in O Block. Tell me what it was like for you growing up around here. Cause you young too. And folks don't know how young you is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put your age out there, but yeah. you. You're a young nigga. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't know. It was like a regular childhood. If it went high, everything everybody else had. Like, mm -hmm. It was different with us. What were some of the challenges you had to face, like, like growing up, going to school? No, I ain't. I ain't had to face no challenges going to school until I got like. Till we was in high school, then we started getting to of people. But really, no, we ain't had no challenges. We just, it was just being outside. You had to. Like, you can't be outside at the wrong time. The little kids are, no, they don't mind. You, st you still in school, Lance? Yeah. What school I, you go to? I ain't saying no, let's go. All right. <laughs> All right. I ain't doing that one. <laughs> All right, so like, um, <laughs> tell me about tell me about when you started doing music. I know it ain't been that long ago. It was, it was around the time one of, one of your friends died. Yeah, my homie Zell. Yeah. Nah, I'm a, I've am been doing music, like, back. But I wasn't ever taking it serious. My homie TQ, I started doing it when he died. But I had stopped like 2020. Then when Zell passed away, I just started back doing it. Okay, your first song was called called Letter to Zell. Yeah. So tell us uh, what Zell meant to you and how he inspired you to become a music artist. Mm, it was like, no, I've been knowing him since I was a little boy. So, well, him me and his brothers. So it was like, he was always telling us like, the right thing to do instead of the wrong thing. Or telling us like, we gonna get rich together, we gonna do this, we gonna do that. Like we all gonna just, we gonna get big. You know, yeah, that's it. All right. So I was listening to your song, it's called uh, Dark Stage. Mm -hmm. And you said, uh, won't sign my life away for shit, ain't no control in me. I'm a real nigga like B-Boy, that's just the O in me. So when I listened to that line, I wondered, um, you know, one question I like to ask everybody who I interview is like, as far as your music career is concerned, do you uh, wish to sign to a label or do you wish to stay independent or how do you see your career uh, you know, in that regard? I'm gonna stay independent. I don't wanna sign to no label. Unless they gonna give me a couple tickets. I ain't going for one or two now. So what's the, um, what's the cons you know about signing to a label? Like what's some of the things you know you wanna stay away from the reason why you don't wanna sign? I want to stay away from like the controlling labels, like the labels that try to control everything you do, like, you know, with that, like, all that, not telling, like, all that, not doing shows, like, not letting people do drop shows. Drop their music. Drop their albums, or all that, I ain't with it. Yeah. It's definitely like, I've been telling a lot of artists, bro, because see, a lot of people do, you know, be thirsty to get signed to a major record yeah. label. The whole time, that's like, Shit, it's just the same as like working a job or something. Like you gotta do what other folks tell you to do. You know what I'm right. saying? You can't move unless they tell you to move and shit like that. So I feel you on that. And then the end part of that line when you say I'm a real nigga like be Roy that's just the O and me. Tell us how uh how important King Von was to O Block. Yeah, he he made it um how important He was real important. Like everybody loved folks. It just he made it. He he opened the door for a lot of for a lot of us though. Like like yeah, we had Chief Keith and all that. But then when he came out, it was like he changed the whole scenery. Like he just made it better. Like so, if anybody want to rap or do something, then it'll be like it just done. Like you you just do it. You could do it. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me tell me what was the difference when 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 Chief Keith. Uh, made O Block famous versus when King Von did. 
what was the difference between Chief Keith and King Von as far as O Block is concerned? Which I ain't gonna lie, I was little when Chief Keith was doing that, so right. I, don't, I don't really know. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not even a fan of him. I ain't gonna lie. When Von did, I was, I was, yeah, I was like, when he, I was like 13, mm -hmm. 14. Mm -hmm. And it was like mm -hmm. it was different because you could. It was really like like mm -hmm. how you got celebrities want to come over here. Like really, we spent like our whole life trying to find a way to get off the block. But then now you got these people who are already like they big and all type of like Hollywood and stuff. They now they want to come over here with us. Yeah, yeah. I saw a shorty say um it was like a seven year old kid, seven year old white boy. I don't know if y'all seen it was on the gram, was like going viral. He was telling his mom he ain't want to go to Disneyland. He wants to go to O Block. Y'all be, y'all be. <laughs> like some y'all. <laughs> like when y'all be seeing the tours, do it be, do it be tweaking y'all out, or do do you kind of like embrace it, like you know? I don't, I don't pay no attention. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even, I don't feed it to that type of stuff. I don't know why they want to come over here. Now, after listening to your music, bro, I hear um, it kind of it kind of put me like in the mindset of uh, what they call, I guess, pain music. Yeah. Nowadays, would you would you agree? With yeah, that? I agree. Okay. Um, you kind of got like a uh, you. I told you, bro, you kind of remind me of like a a Chicago version of Rod Wave. You know what I'm saying? Sort of say. Um, can you tell us who are some uh, artists that influenced you? King Von, Juice World, Rod Wave. Came Von Juice right away. Yeah. That's what's up. That's a decent mix. Um, with all the different things that be going on in your community, uh, you know, a lot of guys getting locked up, a lot of a lot of guys dying to the streets. Uh, do you ever feel like you you probably be having um any mental health issues sometimes, like anxiety, depression, PTSD, something like that? Do you be going through stuff like that? Uh-uh. I ain't gonna I don't happy. If I do, I'm gonna keep it to myself. I ain't gonna ever tell nobody. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask next. Then, like, how do you cope with, you know, make music? Right. So you use music as your outlet. Yeah. That's good. Hey, so for the artists that's coming up in Chicago right now, um, you know, a lot of I'll be hearing a lot of artists making a lot of disrespectful music, right? Yeah. So do you feel like it's necessary for upcoming artists in Chicago to make disrespectful music to get on? Oh, if that's what I know you don't. Do, if that's if that's the way they think they could get on, shit, I don't care. I, don't, I ain't doing no. I ain't doing no definitely trying to be on some other shit. Out of all the uh, rappers from Chicago, who would you say are the top five? Vaughn. Like in my top five, right? Yeah, your top five. King Vaughn, number one. Um, Dirt. Yeah, who else? Ain't like that. Mm. We can't say Juice was from Chicago. Ain't he like from a suburb or something like that? Nah, he, you consider him Chicago though. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah, Juice World, that's three. To the world, he from Chicago. Yeah, huh? Juice World, that's three. Um, shit. Word. So I know you got a um, uh, you got the From the Block performance coming up with Zay. You yeah. shot that already, right? Yeah. So we waiting on that to drop. Uh, what 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 you what else you got coming up next? Mm, I got I got some more songs finna drop. That's really it. I got some more songs finna drop. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to drop music. That's all. What's your plans for 2022? We're in New Year, top of the year. We here early January. What can we expect from you, bro? A lot. Shit. Move. I'm trying to go up. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm just trying to go up. That's it. You will see. You will see. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the best. Yeah, before we get up out of here, you want to give us some shout outs? Mm. Shout out to my manager, Don. Mario, my boy Mario. Film. It's Mario Film. G Nook. Um, mm -hmm. Shit. The whole block. Uh, that's the best. Said DJ UTV, Mona Ike. We out. Why we live the show, that's a shame now. Nah. Don't keep on coming. Lost my brothers to gang ties. Tell them come if they coming. No, the devil keep hunting. For no spinning, they ain't tied. We live the die, that's a shame now. Nah. Don't keep on coming. Lost my brothers to gang ties. Tell them come if they coming. No, the devil keep hunting. For no
spin. 